You know, we, we live in a society right now where we want everything fast. You with me? I mean, that's the entire reason why microwaves were invented. It, it doesn't make your food taste better, that's for sure. But it sure does heat it up pretty fast. And who wants to break out a pan and start heating stuff up on the stove or the oven? I mean, this, you, just, you just throw it in there and you nuke it and two seconds later you got some food. You with me? And when you're hungry, you got to get it fast. We, we love fast food. And once again, it ain't because of the flavor. It's because it's cheap and it's fast. We love the fast forward button. Now you can fast forward through TV. You can skip the commercials. You just got to get that little TiVo thing and you, you pause it. You skip the commercials. And you're like, yes, I don't have to wait any longer. I get my show. And don't you hate that little buffering thing that comes on videos that you're trying to play on the internet? Doesn't that thing drive you nuts? Why? Because we want it now. And yet Jesus responds to those that had been martyred. Just wait a little longer. Why? So that your brothers and your sisters who are still alive can be tested and prove themselves faithful too. You see, it occurs to me, when we go through hardship, when we go through challenges, isn't that our response? I mean, when, Jesus? When is this going to end? When am I going to get that raise I've been searching for? When is this sickness going to get sick? Ever been sick and you're just like, man, when is this going to end? And yet Jesus equates the little longer to a time of testing that he allows us to go through so that we have the opportunity to prove ourselves faithful. Wow. How do you prove yourself faithful? What's well, simple? You got to hold to the word of God and maintain your testimony. 